there was trouble. Thomas biffed the car too hard. It rolled forward and disappeared into the mine. Cinders and ashes, exclaimed Thomas. Where did that freight car go? Thomas rolled forward and peered inside. It was very dark. I must finish the job, he huffed. I'll soon find that car. And Thomas puffed into the mine. It was very dark. Thomas was happy he had a bright lamp. He saw the freight car rolling away. Then it disappeared around a bend. Bust my buffers, puffed Thomas. I'd better go after it. The slope was very steep. Thomas whizzed down it and clattered around the bend. Up Thomas whooshed and down he whizzed. Whee! Thomas whistled and whoa! He cried. It was very scary, but it was very exciting. Thomas had almost caught up to the freight car. You won't get away from me, he whistled happily. But Thomas didn't see the junction ahead. The freight car whizzed down the right track and Thomas sped down the left. Thomas had lost the runaway car. But his roller coaster ride was so much fun. Thomas soon forgot about the freight car. Then there was trouble. The tunnel ahead was blocked. Oh no! cried Thomas. He applied his brakes, but it was too late. Thomas crashed straight through the block tunnel. With a mighty splash, Thomas landed in a pool of water. Oh, frizzling fireboxes! This tunnel is flooded! He gasped. It didn't feel fun anymore. It felt scary. I wish I was back at Great Waterton. He wished quietly. Thomas drifted slowly forward. There was nothing he could do. Cinders and ashes, Thomas gasped as he floated along the tunnel. He tooted as loudly as he could. Help! He cried. But there was no one there to hear his whistle. No one will find me now, Thomas wailed. No one will want to find me. In the dark tunnel, Thomas was very scared. He was washed and waved forward. His fire had gone out and his boiler was cold. The river was rushing and Thomas whooshed with it off into the darkness. Suddenly, he crashed through a thick wall of bushes. He flew across a ravine and hit the ground with a bump. Thomas slid down a hill. Trees and rocks were everywhere. Help! Thomas cried. At last, Thomas slithered to a stop at the bottom of the hill. He was stuck. Thomas saw he had landed next to an old track. But how am I going to get onto it? He cried. Thomas could do nothing but wait and hope.